has made several recommendations to ensure that taxpayer dollars spent wisely on the school board. The Office of the Inspector General says the Prince George's County Board of Education Ethics Advisory Panel's investigation last year into seven school board members was not only flawed, but it also cost more than $100,000. This comes after the office received several complaints from parents regarding taxpayer dollars used. The Inspector General's office also accuses school board chair Juanita Miller, the acting general counsel and the chair of the Ethics Advisory Panel, of violating a board policy. The recommendation is now for the County Board of Education to revisit their guidelines to ensure they're obtaining fair prices for services. Earlier this summer, County Executive Angela Alsobrooks asked the school board chair to step down, but instead she hinted at a hearing process. The process should not be allowed to be unduly manipulated. Annalisa Gale, WTOP News. WTOP reached out to the school board chair regarding the latest report. So far, we have not received a response. Students in D.C. are among those heading back to school tomorrow. It has both kids and parents brimming with anticipation. A lot of excitement, a little bit of nervous excitement. That's what parent Megan Clark is feeling ahead of the new school year. Her young son will be going to Lafayette Elementary yeah, School still. in Northwest Good. D.C. and with masks optional this school year. I think we're still trying to decide if, uh, how we feel about sending him in a mask every day or not. We still haven't made that decision, I think. Parents of K-12 students have a deadline of today to upload a negative COVID test for their child online. Also this year, students 12 and older must be vaccinated against COVID. Sean Aaron, WTOP News. Coming up on WTOP, it's the 59th, 59th anniversary of Martin Luther King Jr.'s March on Washington. We talked to a woman who was there. It's 10.07. Hey, Becky, what about this beat for your next song? Uh, it's
could be in a stray shower towards the later innings, and that goes with everything else as well. A stray shower chance across the area if you are boating out in the Chesapeake. Maybe keep an eye on this guy. I would put a 20% chance out there. Everybody else less than a 20% chance to see a little stray storm. But otherwise, yeah, hot and humid temperatures in the low 90s. That heat index right around 100 degrees. Now, as we go into the overnight yeah, hours, temperatures in the 60s and 70s tomorrow. Beautiful, lots of sunshine. Very similar to today with temperatures around 90. That heat index around 100. By Last Tuesday, we're in the low mid-90s. Increasing clouds. It's going to feel like about 100, 300. What do you remember about that day? The crowds, the speakers? We were kind of further back, but we managed to inch our way forward, and people were pretty nice about letting us move forward since they knew, you know, clearly I couldn't see above the crowd, and my mom wasn't much taller than me. So we kind of worked our way towards the front. So we found a vantage, vantage point where we could actually see the stage, and we were able to hear. I don't know whether there were actually speakers, um, but we were able to hear the speeches. Do you remember your reaction? What did you think of what you were hearing? Well, I knew I was I was going to hear Dr. Martin Luther King, um, and I knew about him. Um, I had no idea about you know the impact he would have on a crowd that size, but um, so I had some expectations. It just you know when I actually heard it, um, I had no idea. Like I said, how impactful it would be and how well received it would have been for a crowd that size. So I, I you know, knew at that point that I was actually part of some very important moment in history. Again, at 10 years old, it was just apparent. I, I had no idea how big a point in history it was, but it seemed like a very important time. Next hour, Rocking 10 talks about what the experience has meant to her. Coming up on WTOP. An exciting project on the National Mall. It involves horses. <sighs> I'm Nick Elling Elliott. It's 1013. The people have been craving to explore the new and traditional Asian cuisines. They head to P.F. Chang's, where scratch-made dishes come from the 2,000-year-old tradition of wok cooking. P.F. Chang's wanted to explore new possibilities for their website. They turned to AmericanEagle.com. AmericanEagle.com re-architected P.F. Chang's website, integrating multiple third-party systems to create a unified digital experience. The results? Improved page speed and performance, personalized content based on user's location, intuitive online ordering, and increase in organic search visibility and a 40% increase in new users. For scratch-made Asian cuisine, visit your local P.F. Chang's or go to pfchangs.com for website design, development, digital marketing, and hosting that produce efficiency, revenue, and results. Visit AmericanEagle.com. P.F. Chang's at AmericanEagle.com. Another example of the best businesses in the world. Turning to the best in the business for websites, go to AmericanEagle.com or call 877-WEBNOW-1. That's 877-WEBNOW-1. Leaves customers deserve to get more without paying more. Everything from entertainment benefits like Netflix on Us to travel benefits to scam ship protection, all with taxes and fees included. So the price you see is the price you pay. When you're a T Mobile customer, you get over $200. 
Carroll says the Prince George's County Board of Education Ethics Advisory Panel's investigation last year into seven school board members was not only flawed, but it also cost more than $100,000. This comes after the office received several complaints from parents regarding taxpayer dollars used. The Inspector General's office also accuses school board chair Juanita Miller, the acting general counsel and the chair of the Ethics Advisory Panel, of violating a board policy. The recommendation is now for the County Board of Education to revisit their guidelines to ensure they're obtaining fair prices for services. Earlier this summer, County Executive Angela Alsobrooks asked the school board chair to step down, but instead she hinted at a hearing process. The process should not be allowed to be unduly manipulated. And Lisa Gale, WTOP News. WTOP reached out to the school board chair regarding the latest report. So far, we have not received a response. Students in D.C. are among those heading back to school tomorrow. It has both kids and parents brimming with anticipation. A lot of excitement, a little bit of nervous excitement. That's what parent Megan Clark is feeling ahead of the new school year. Her young son will be going to Lafayette it Elementary School still. in Northwest D.C. And with masks optional this school year. We're still trying to decide if, uh, how we feel about sending him in a mask every day or not. We still haven't made that decision, I think. Parents of K-12 students have a deadline of today to upload a negative COVID test for their child online. Also this year, students 12 and older must be vaccinated against COVID. Sean Aaron, WTOP News. Coming up on WTOP, it's the 59th, 59th anniversary of Martin Luther King Jr.'s March on Washington. We talked to a woman who was there. It's 10.07. Hey, Becky, what about the speed for your next song? Um, it's a fun thing that I've learned to master stuff lately. Like it's Teddy that gives me the young experience. Oh, God. What about this thing?